What's up guys, H Masters here, back with another LEGO Bionicle Summer 2016 review, this time on set number 71314, Storm Beast. Taking a quick look at the box, you can see there's 109 pieces, ages are 7 to 14, and box art. In the back you can just see all the beasts equals this combiner model and the comic. So let's go ahead and open this. Alright, so here is Storm Beast all built up, and the first thing I want to take a look at right away is his function. So, taking a look at his function, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. And basically the way this works is if you move his tail like this, one arm will move up, as you can see like that. If you move it down, his hands will move up like this. And it's just, it's an all around pretty good function. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, and it pretty much gets all the all the good stuff done my only problems with it is that it does kind of lack in friction a little bit because of the use of these two pieces so it can be a little bit annoying when trying to pose him another thing i'm not a huge fan of which isn't really the function's fault but it's because of the way um the way his arms are attached here on this ball joint it's kind of annoying because it forces his arms to kind of always be angled a little bit and I don't really like that, I wish it was just on a different ball joint, but that is just one thing to So taking a look at his legs, you can see it's nothing too crazy. You do have this new uh, Metro Blue uh, four size recolor, which is nice. And you can see they did do a little bit of custom legs, nothing too crazy. I do like it, it's pretty nice, but it is, you know, nothing too crazy. But it is something nice to see there. Taking a look at Storm Beast's arms, you can see that new uh, trans light blue crystal piece not really sure what it is and you know that's there but he has these kind of claws for weapons and the claws they're, they're kind of weird because the way they're attached they use this foot piece and it just looks really weird because they decided to attach it in a sort of way where this thing is just sticking out and it just looks really bad because of that being there and I just I really hate it but you know it's that's just one kind of annoying thing about the set but his claws other than that are pretty good you have pretty much all the articulation with the thumb here because you can move it back all the way if you really want it to be back here you can do that the fingers they move up and down so you can sort of like close his hands so like something like this you know if you really wanted to you know you got you got a lot of sort of articulation in the fingers it is pretty nice and just a nice thing about the claws Taking a look at Storm Beast's head, you can see it's the exact same uh, head used for all of the other beasts, only this one goes from a Metro Blue to a Trans Yellow. And just like all the beasts, uh, all the other beasts, my only real complaint about this is that you can see this sort of the headpiece there because the mask is just kind of too small, which is kind of annoying, although it's not as bad on Storm Beast as it is on, say, Lava Beast because, you know, he does have the Trans yellow so it does fit in a little bit better here. Also another thing to note about the mask is you do have pretty much all of your points of articulation. You can look relatively far down although you are a little bit limited because you don't want to look too far down otherwise you will pop the mask off using the jaw. You can look you know left to right and you can look up pretty far up until you are a little bit limited because of the eye stalk and the glatorian neck over there. But you do have pretty much all of the articulation you're going to need in the neck to get all sorts of nice poses. Now just like all of the other uh, beasts, you can pop the mask off by lifting up the jaw like so, and the mask will fall off. Now personally, it doesn't really seem like anything too crazy to me, because you can accomplish the exact same thing by pushing the eye stock like you usually would for all of the other sets, and you know, it is a nice feature, it is always appreciated, but I do wish you could uh, close the jaw instead. Also taking a quick look at Storm Beast's torso, you can see he has a trans blue ribcage and he does have his own, you know, sort of special printed piece just like all the other beasts. I actually do particularly like this one and it does fit in pretty well with the sets unlike uh, Quick Beast where it was pink. This one does fit in very well with Storm Beast and it does look pretty cool. Just like the rest of the beasts, uh, Storm Beast comes with a corrupted Toa mask. This one is the Mask of Ice or Kopakis mask. As you can see, it goes from a white to a trans yellow. Personally, I think it looks absolutely terrible. I really just don't like this mask at all. But it is technically kind of a good thing because, you know, it is a corrupted mask, so it isn't really meant to look good. 
but just like all the other beasts, this does not fit on Storm Beast, so it does kind of give me the impression that it's just kind of useless, and it doesn't really have much of a purpose in the set, and it doesn't add much play value to it. Also, one little interesting thing to note about the mask, it does not come with a stud like the original mask, it just kind of is left there like this. Taking a look at the mask on Kopaka, you can see the mask just looks awful on him. It just does not fit in at all, which in this case is a good thing because this is a corrupted mask and it just does not work at all. It just looks awful with the rest of him. So overall, Storm Beast is a very solid set. He does have probably the most interesting function we've seen in all of Bionicle Gen 2 so far, being just some completely new and innovative thing, and I think it actually works out pretty well. My really only issues with it is that it is a little bit annoying friction-wise, and it can make it a little bit hard to pose. And my only other issues with Storm Beast really are just his claws, because I just do not like that open ball joint at all. So overall, Storm Beast, I think, is a very solid set. He's definitely not the best set of the wave, but he's definitely not the worst either, and he definitely is a set you should consider getting. Go ahead and leave your opinion on Storm Beast in the comment section below. Whether you like him, you hate him, go ahead and let me know. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.